Hi, my name's Alan and welcome to another episode of Affinity TV, where we give you bite-sized chunks to keep your learning simple. Today's episode, we're going to take a quick look at Affinity Photo and answer the question, what are personas? Now today, we're not going to get in depth with all the tools and features that are available. I just want to give you a quick overview and help you to better understand some of the tasks that you can achieve. So let's get started. Inside of Affinity Photo and up towards the top left of the screen, we have these four icons. We have the Photo Persona, Liquify, Develop and Export Persona. Think of personas as different ways of working within Affinity Photo. When you switch to a different persona, simply by clicking on it, it reveals a tailored set of tools to allow you to accomplish a specific task. Let me give you some examples. So I'm going to start with the photo persona and I have this image open up here of this young girl with some spots and blemishes on her face. If I head over to the tools on the left hand side of my screen and choose the blemish removal tool, what that allows me to do is remove some of these spots and blemishes from her skin, simply by hovering over and clicking that simple. Now, some of the other things I can do inside of the photo persona is add text to my images. So again, I can head over to my tools on the left hand side, come down to my artistic text tool, click on the screen and start typing. Let me just delete that. Now, you can also use something like the selection brush. And what that allows me to do is make a selection of my image, cut her out, and then place her inside of another photo. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say I want to remove this lighthouse from this image. Again, I can come over to my tools on the left hand side. And this time I'm going to choose the impacting brush tool and just click and paint away. And give it a second. And there we go. As if by magic, it's gone. Let me head over to my third example. So I've got this image opened up here and I want to crop it. So again, over on the left hand side of my tools, I can choose the crop tool and I can click and drag and then choose apply and crop my image. Now, something else you can also do in the uh, photo persona is actually select and change the color of this car. Uh, look out for the episode because I did a whole tutorial on how to select and change colors. So that's just a quick look at the photo persona. Let's now look at the liquify persona. Now, I'm sure we've all seen those images online, those Photoshop files where, you know, guys try to make their muscles look bigger or magazines make models look slimmer than they actually are. Well, that and a whole lot more can be achieved in the liquify persona. Let me give you a quick example. I have this image opened up here of this young girl and well, she doesn't look too happy. Let's change that. I'm just gonna reduce the size of the brush and the hardness. I'm gonna zoom in. And what I can do is just push this up and make it look like she's smiling. Let's hit apply. And look at the before. Not so happy and the after. And we'll put a slight little smile on her face. Let's now head over to the develop persona. So if you're familiar with applications such as iPhoto, Apple Photos or Aperture, you'll recognize some of the tools and features available inside of Affinity Photo. So for example, I can adjust my exposure, the contrast, bring down the saturation, increase the black point. If there are any uh, distortion in your images, you could correct it horizontally or vertically. If your picture was noisy due to low light and there was a lot of grainy images, you can use the noise reduction tools and features that are available inside of the develop persona. And by default, if you were opening up a raw image inside of Affinity Photo, it would automatically take you straight into the develop persona. Let's cancel this. Now, when it comes to exporting your image, of course, I can come up to the file menu and choose export and choose from one of the file formats that's available. Let's cancel that. If I head over to my vinyl example inside of the export persona, 
I have these four designs here. Now, if I was to export that as one image, they would all be one image. The benefit of using the export persona is I can create slices out of these four images and export them individually and have four separate images. So I can select all four over here on the right hand side in my layers pane and choose to create slice. And if I head over to the slices pane now, you can see it's now created me four individual slices. So that I can go ahead, use one of the presets and export those images. Also as well, I have an option here for different resolutions, one times, two, and three times the resolution. So for example, if I'm working on an icon design and I need icons at different resolutions for, um, you know, for example, the App Store or different devices that I'm working on, the export persona gives you those options. Or for example, if you're working on a website and you finish your design inside of Affinity Photo or even Affinity Designer, by using the export persona, it allows you to create slices from individual elements. Of course, then you can go ahead and build your site and get it published. So there you go guys, that was just a quick overview of what personas are inside of Affinity Photo. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon on another episode of Affinity TV.